what's up guys welcome back for today's video i am super excited because i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using some of my absolute favorite makeup products so before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so first up we have primers i have four current favorite primers that i've been using a lot lately so we have two drugstore and two high end the first drugstore primer that i've been loving is the spotlight illuminating primer by physicians for Formula. This is such a nice illuminating primer. It just gives the most beautiful glow to the skin. I absolutely love it. And then we also have a hydrating primer from ColourPop. This is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. This is really, really hydrating. It almost feels like a moisturizer and primer in one. So if you have a dry skin, I feel like this would be a really good primer for you. And then on the high end side, we have two pore filling primers. So first we have the Professional Primer by Benefit and the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. These are both really good at filling in your pores and just smoothing out your skin. I'm gonna go in with, I think, the Illuminating Primer. That way I can show you guys just how illuminating it is on the skin. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it does give a little nice glow to the skin. Um, it's very subtle. I just think it looks so pretty. You could even wear this just on its own, like in the summertime. Moving on to foundations. So I do have five foundation products here that I want to talk about. Um, so I'm going to start off with the drugstore. Um, so first of all, we have this Maybelline. This is the Dream BB Pure Skin Mattifying Beauty Balm. So this is basically like a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. But it actually does have quite a bit of coverage. Like I was really surprised on the coverage of this. And I'm not usually a tinted moisturizer type of girl at all. I really love full coverage. But this is really beautiful. And I think it'd be really great for the summer when you don't want to have like full on makeup on. And then I also have the... Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. It is so good. It gives the most beautiful finish to the skin. It's not matte. It's more of like a natural finish and it has really, really good coverage. I absolutely love it. Last drugstore foundation, we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Now, if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, this is the one you want to go for. It is so full coverage and it gives a really beautiful finish to the skin as well. It's not matte. It's more natural or like a radiant finish, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I am almost out. I literally can't even get any more out of the pump I have to like scrape it out of the bottle and then my two favorite high-end foundations that I've been loving recently are the Lancome this is the Tint. I don't know how to say this uh Edol Ultra Wear this is a 24 hour wear and comfort it's transfer resistant and it does have SPF 15 in it um, this has a natural finish it does have like really good coverage it's not full coverage I would say medium coverage but it's buildable to full coverage um, and then the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. This is super full coverage and it's very matte. I think I'm going to go in with the Lancome foundation today just because I feel like I've used almost all the other ones in previous videos before. So I'm going to go in with this one. Okay, and next up we have brows. So I have one brow gel that I have been loving lately and it is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Now this is just a mini one. I got this in an Ipsy bag, so this isn't the full size, but I really, really love it. It has like a really nice little comb on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like a little bristles. It makes it super easy to work through your brows. And this stuff makes your brows literally stay in place all day. Like they do not budge I swear this is probably my favorite brow gel that I've used in quite a long time um, just because I find that other ones they don't hold my brow hairs in place that long next we're gonna go in with a brow pencil um, I have three brow pencils that I really have fallen in love with so this one I have used um, a couple times this is my second one um, this isn't actually a full size it's a I don't know what size a trial size I don't know but I got this in an ipsy bag but it's actually not as big as the ones that you would get in the store um, this is the benefit precisely my brow this is in the shade three um, I would like a darker shade next time um, but this one like I said came in an ipsy bag so the shade was a little bit light for me but, but yeah it's 
it's almost gone like literally that's all i have left um, and then i've also recently been using the real her i am inspiring brow pencil this one is similar it has a very very fine point as well um, and yeah i would say this is probably like a dupe i'm not sure how much this costs um, but i'm pretty sure it's cheaper than the benefit one and then finally we have the hourglass uh arch micro sculpting brow pencil so this is more of a bougie brow pencil. I don't even know the price tag on this. I actually got this on a boxy pop-up sale, I believe. So I only paid like not even $10, I don't think, for this. So yeah, I think I'm going to go in with the Hourglass one just because I haven't used it as much as the other two. Alright, brows are done. Let's jump into concealer. So I'm going to talk about this concealer first because I'm going to use it to carve out my brows. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. I actually really love this for an eye base as well, like to prep your eyes for eyeshadow. And I also use this all the time to carve out my brows just because I love the coverage on it and it's a really light shade. This is uh, porcelain, so I think it's the lightest shade they have. All right, and then the other two concealers that I have been loving recently are the Maybelline Superstay and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. So this one is really full coverage and has more of a matte finish. And then this one is more hydrating and has a lighter coverage. So I think I'm going to go in with the more full coverage today just because I have not really a full coverage foundation on. And this is in the shade Fair. Just go ahead and blend that out. So before we get into the eyeshadow palettes, I'm just going to quickly mention the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer because I've been loving this eye primer. It is really, really nice for a base for your eyeshadow. It definitely brightens your eyeshadow and just makes your eyeshadow last all day long without creasing and stuff like that. So I really, really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. I have three eyeshadow palettes that I have not been able to put down. These are my three palettes that I just constantly reach for. So let's go over them. First off, we have the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. I got this not that long ago, maybe a few months ago. But look at how beautiful it is. It is so colorful and that is just my vibe. I love colorful eyeshadow palettes. The formula and pigmentation on these are pretty good like some of them are really pigmented other ones are more like lighter shades and they're more pastel -y, so they're not like super super pigmented like a couple of these lighter ones but other than that like they're really good they're blendable um, I have noticed just one issue with the blue um, in the palette I find that it is a little bit patchy I don't know I think it might be like a pressed pigment or something so I did have a hard time working with that shade in particular but every other shade I've used has been great and it has like pressed glitters in it which are really really pretty so I love this palette I have been using it all the time and then we have my two most favorite palettes ever so these are by Be Perfect Cosmetics. I'm sure most of you have heard of them by now. Um, so the first one is the Carnival XL Pro Palette, which looks like this. It's a pretty big palette. Um, it does have three highlighter shades on the side. Um, and then the other one is the Carnival 3 palette, the Love Tahiti palette, which I just recently got for my birthday. Um, and I have been using it nonstop. That's what that one looks like. So they're both very, very colorful. They are so extremely pigmented and just buttery. Probably the most blendable shadows I've ever used. Like, I am obsessed. Like, I just don't care to use any of my other palettes, really, at this point. Like, I just constantly reach for these two. So I'm going to be creating a look with these today. Um, I'm not sure what we want to do. I haven't even thought about it. Maybe tap into both palettes, maybe all three, and just see what I can come up with I need something as a base so I need something light I think I'm gonna go in with this foolish shade right here this is kind of like a light peachy pink so just pop that all over the lid well not all over the lid but up in my crease wow this shade is actually really pretty I don't think I've used this shade before have I I don't know it looks pretty unused this is a really pretty like peachy color. I 
Okay, I think I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Now you can actually see what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep applying this shade. This is again called Foolish. And just get that all up in the crease. All right, let's pick another color to deepen up my crease. I think I'm gonna go into the Carnival 3 palette now and pick a color from there. So I think I'm gonna go into the shade right here. It's called Hibiscus. By the way, this is my favorite blending brush ever. It is by Morphe. Um, I don't know what it's called. There's no number on it, but I got it in like a little brush set and it is my absolute favorite brush to blend with. Just going back in with that lighter shade a little bit and just kind of buffing out the edges more. Okay, so I went ahead and just cut my crease, did a little halo type eye, and now I'm gonna go in with a, another shade, probably a shimmer shade. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is called Pearl. Um, I don't think I've even used this shade before, so I'm interested to see what it looks like on the eye. Feels really freaking buttery. Oh my gosh, that is really pigmented. I am not the best at halo eyes, like I don't know how I like this, it kind of looks weird. I might have to go in and fix it, but I really really like this shimmer shade though. Well, I'm going to go in with some setting powder now to set the face before I apply the eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So the setting powder that I have been loving and using a lot of recently is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. I love this stuff. It is so finely milled. It literally blurs everything. It makes your skin look so smooth. Just makes your makeup look amazing and sets the face for the whole day. I noticed that my makeup stays in place all day. So first I'm gonna go in and set the under eyes. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. This is the R5 and just set under the eyes where we put that concealer. I love this brush because it's got like a tapered end so it's really easy to get like right in there. And then I'm just gonna take a more fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics and I'm just gonna set all over the face with that brush. All right, now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the rest of my eye look off camera and then I will be right back. All right, so I finished my eyes and now I'm just gonna talk about a couple things that I used because I did use some favorites. So first of all, mascara that I used is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. This has quickly become my favorite mascara that I've like ever used. Honestly, I am so obsessed with it. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend go out and buy it because it is just so good. Um, so this is what the wand looks like. It's like a bigger wand, but it just does such a good job at separating your lashes, making them look longer, fuller. So yeah, I used this mascara, and then I also went ahead and applied some magnetic lashes. I used the Glamnetic. These are in the style Birthday Bish. I have been loving them. Um, the only thing I'm not a super fan of is the liquid liner. Um, it does get like chunky. I, this is actually my third bottle. The liner is not my favorite, but if I can get past that, I really do love the lashes. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing lash wise. And now I'm going to just talk about some eyeliners really quick. I have all of these liners from ColourPop. I got these back a few months when I got that Fade Into Hue palette. So I got them together as a bundle and I absolutely love these liners. They are so creamy. They are so pigmented. They don't last like all day in your waterline, but they do last fairly long and they're super affordable. So I absolutely love them. Usually I go in with the white one, which is the shade Exit. That's like my go-to color, but I think I'm gonna go in with a different color today. I'm gonna go in with this like minty green color. This is in the shade Icebreaker. So I think I'm gonna pop that into my waterline. All right, so that is all done. And now we can move on to the rest of our face and we can finish up this makeup look. So I'm gonna go in with a bronzer next. 
and I do have a few favorite bronzers. Okay, wow, I have more here than I thought I did. I guess I'll start with the drugstore ones, and these are actually both cream bronzers, which I'm not going to be using today because I already set my face, but the first one is by Soul Body, and this is like a sister brand to ColourPop, so you can buy this on the ColourPop website. This is the Face and Body Bronzing Balm, and I got the shade Dark which looks like really, really dark in the pan, but it's actually not that dark when you apply it. It also smells like coconut. It smells so freaking good. So I absolutely love this. I've been using it like, I wouldn't say nonstop, but there's some days where I just feel like a cream bronzer. And so I just go in with this one. And I also have the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick, and this is in the shade Chestnut. So this one is also like fairly dark, but it doesn't blend out that dark. So I like this one because it's like on a stick so it's really easy to like just draw where you want it and just yeah it's really simple. So I've really been loving these two cream bronzing products. And then we have two um, high end bronzers. So the first one is by Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. This is just like a little mini I guess like sample size. I don't know. But it's so good. It smells like chocolate and it just blends like a freaking dream. The shade is beautiful on my skin tone personally. I love it. And then I also have this one from Fenty Beauty. This is the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. Again, a little mini one. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's more of like a natural bronzer. It's a light shade um, for my skin tone. But I really, really like this one for contouring my nose um, just because it's very subtle. So today I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced for my face. And then I will do my nose contour with this one. Okay, up next we are going into blushes and I have three blushes here that I absolutely love. I don't have like a ton of blushes. That's probably the thing in my collection that I have the least of. I don't know why. I just don't really buy blushes. I just, I need to get more blushes, but I just really love the ones that I have. So the first one I have, this is the one that I bought right when I started getting into makeup. I think it was the first blush I ever bought and it is the Baked Powder Blush by Milani in Luminoso or Luminoso. I'm not really sure how to say that but it is like the most beautiful peachy pink blush. It's like more of a glowy blush which I personally love so yeah I have been loving this blush since I got it and I still have so much left like you can't even tell that I've used it that much, but I have used it so much. It just literally never goes down. Like it's, there's just so much product in here. And then the next one I've also been loving is by Laura Geller. This is the Baked Blush and Brighten Tropic Hues. So another glowy blush. It's just got like a marble effect in there. There's tons of different colors in there and it's just so beautiful on the skin. Like it just gives your cheeks like the most beautiful glow. Um, if you're not really into highlight, then this would be a nice substitute. Like it's blush and kind of like a little bit of a highlight in one. Like it's very beautiful. So yeah, I love this one so much. And then I also have the NARS Orgasm blush. This is just a mini size, but it's also a glowy blush and it is just so so freaking beautiful. I think I'm going to go in with the Laura Geller one. I'm going to get quite a bit on my brush because I like a lot of blush. Also, I find like blush like doesn't really like last on the skin as long. Like I feel like it always fades out. I don't know. Like, so you can't even really see it that much. And I put a lot on my brush. Honestly, I think it's this brush. Like I don't think this is the best brush for blush. It just doesn't really hold the color on too well, I guess. I don't know. It's not my favorite brush for applying blush. It's just you have to really like go in over and over again to get the desired amount. Like I like a more dense brush for blush, if that makes sense. It just feel like it gets the color on quicker. Okay, now you can see it. It's looking pretty good now. So yeah, I like that. Let's go into the other side. So for highlight, I have one, two, three, four, five, six highlights here because highlights are my favorite thing in makeup. Like my favorite makeup product to buy, to use. I just, 
ugh, I'm obsessed with highlighters so I could not just pick like a couple like there's so many that I love and use all the time so I'm gonna start with the drugstore ones because I've been starting with drugstore this whole time so we'll just start with the drugstore so I have two here one is by Milani and this is the afterglow strobe light instant glow powder oh afterglow instant glow powder I think the shade is strobe light so I read that wrong but yeah the shade is strobe light it's in 01 and this highlight is no joke you guys like it is so freaking beautiful and it is so blinding like you have no idea I was honestly shook by this like for a drugstore highlight this is incredible so don't sleep on it if you need a good affordable highlight get this one trust me you won't be disappointed and then we also have pixie beauty this is the glowy gossamer duo in subtle sunrise oh my gosh you guys okay this is hands down my favorite drugstore highlighter i I can't get over it it is so good it's like a wet highlight like it is just it melts into your skin and it just gives you like the most beautiful glow um, I think I'm gonna swatch these two um, just to show you guys what they look like cuz you're gonna die okay so starting with the pixie these are the two shades look how freaking blinding those are oh my god and then this is the Alani so yeah as you can see these two are way more like blinding these are like almost like a foiled highlight like they just have so much sheen to them yeah hands down these are my favorite drugstore highlights so um this one is still really really pretty but these two definitely take the cake and okay, then moving on to high-end highlighters so i have four i'm gonna start with my favorite which is the ofra highlighter in glazed donut if you guys have not tried ofra highlighters what are you doing with your life this highlight is definitely worth the money um if you're looking to splurge on a highlighter i highly suggest going with this one you will not be disappointed the formula is very similar to the pixie one it is very creamy and like wet and just melts into the skin it is so pigmented and so blinding so i will swatch that for you guys in a minute um and i'll just quickly go over the other ones so the other highlight that i've been loving and using a ton of is this one by gerard cosmetics this is the star powder in the shade grace so this is what it looks like has a little flap here um, it doesn't really look that amazing in the pan but trust me when it's on the skin it looks beautiful and you can build it up to be very very blinding um, so I really really love this one the shade is absolutely beautiful and then last but not least we have two highlights from Anastasia we have the Amrezy and the new one which is the iced out so starting with the Amrezy this is just like a really really beautiful gold highlight it is very blinding and very pigmented and it has like that wet look to it like as you can see in the pan it's kind of got that foiled look kind of like the pixie one and on the skin it looks just as beautiful and then the Ice Out one is more powdery. I don't think it has the same formula as the Amrezy one. It feels more powdery. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot. I just got it like last month for my birthday, but I have been loving it. I really like the color of it. It's just like such a beautiful, unique color. Um, I don't have any other highlights in my collection like this one, so I really, really like it. Um, look at the pen though. Like, oh my god, it is so stunning. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch these for you so you can see. The first two I will do are the Anastasia. So the bottom one here is the Amrezy, and this is the Iced Out. And then dipping into the Gerard Cosmetics and the Ofra. Okay, so the bottom one is the Gerard Cosmetics and the top is the Ofra. So you can see again, that one's like more of the wet foiled look. Super, super blinding. Oh my gosh. If you guys have any recommendations for highlighters that you are obsessed with and can't live without, let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking for another highlight to add to my collection. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Ofra Cosmetics one. I don't know because this is just like the most blinding. So I think I'm going to go in with this one. look at that you guys oh my god that's literally one application like barely tapped my brush in just went on the skin like that like hello then i'm just gonna go in as well with a little brush just to highlight the inner corner 
and the brow bone don't sleep on over highlights you guys like seriously look at this it's freaking insane anyways let's move on to lips so for lips i have two lip liners that i have been loving first off is wet n wild this is the perfect pout gel lip liner you do not need to spend a lot of money on a lip liner these are absolutely incredible for the price i don't even know how much they are i think they're like maybe three or four dollars so affordable and they are so pigmented and so creamy and then the other one i have is by gerard cosmetics again and this is just their lip pencil these are really really creamy as well these are more on the high-end side but they are super pigmented and super creamy and i love them um, these ones are sharpenable and then these ones are retractable i'm gonna go in with the gerard cosmetics one because i'm gonna do like more of a nude lip not a pink lip so and this is in the shade underground Okay, next I'm going to talk about a lip balm and a lip gloss before we move on to lipstick. So the lip balm that I've been absolutely loving is by Sugar Rush. And this is their Best Bud Lip Butter Balm in Peony. It smells like freaking chocolate and like sweets. Like, I don't know. It just smells so good. Initially when I first got it, it smelled like cotton candy to me. But now I feel like... It smells more like chocolate and yeah it's just a really good lip balm and the packaging is adorable so i really really love this next up we have a gloss by maybelline and this is their lifter gloss this is in the shade stone this gloss is just so freaking bomb like it is so nourishing on the lips it's not sticky it's not thick it's just like probably my favorite gloss i've ever tried to be honest and it's drugstore so if you need a good gloss definitely go check these out and then next we have a couple lip products so i have three um lipsticks that are like more on the matte side um this is the stila stay all day liquid lipstick in caramello my favorite nude shade ever i swear and their formula is so good it's not super drying and it's just like I don't know it's really long lasting in my opinion and I just really really love it so I also really really love the Tarte uh, Tartiest lip paint this is the creamy lip paint and this is in the birthday suit shade another really great nude shade this one has more of like a minty scent to it which I personally really like it is just so comfortable on the lips it doesn't even feel like you're wearing lipstick so I really really like these and then the Huda Beauty um, I forgot how much I loved Huda Beauty's liquid lipstick formula. It is so comfortable and it is so like just pigmented and beautiful. It's not drying at all. It is just really, really comfortable. Like trust me on this. Like I only have this one um, and it's like a mini size. But when I'm out of this, I'm definitely going to look into her lipsticks and pick up a few because I have just fallen in love with this formula. This NYX lipstick I just recently got and have recently tried and been really liking it and it is the Slip Tease Lip Lacquer. Um, so this is not like a matte lipstick. It's got the like sheen to it. It almost looks like a gloss but it's really comfortable and it has full color like it's very pigmented. So I would definitely want to pick up a couple more shades of this as well. I really like this shade. This is in chic appeal i can do a couple swatches for you guys to show you the different shades of everything but i think i'm gonna just put on a lipstick first that way you can see at least one of them in action and then i will swatch the rest of them i think i'm gonna go in with the tarte just because i haven't used this one in like a minute but i know i love it it's one of my fave formulas ever Okay, so that is what that shade looks like. It's a really pretty nude. I really like it. It almost feels like lip balm. Like, it's very, very light. Okay, so here are the swatches of all the lip products that I showed you guys. So, first we have the Huda Beauty. Um, that's in the shade Muse. And then we have the Stila Cosmetics Caramello. The NYX Cosmetics... Uh, chic appeal that's the slip tease um, lip lacquer and then lastly is the maybelline lip gloss in stone and then the last step to our makeup routine is setting spray so i have been loving this setting spray by morphe it is the continuous setting mist so the reason why i love it so much is because the mister on it is 
so fine and it gives such an even spray which I love there is nothing more like annoying than having a setting spray that like shoots product everywhere and it's just leaves water droplets all over your face it can ruin your makeup sometimes I've had like eyeshadow looks that got ruined from a setting spray because it just sprayed like such big droplets on my face so I really really love the setting spray and I will continue to buy this over and over again and it's super affordable it's only like $20 I think for a can I'm gonna quickly spray this on wow yeah see that is just amazing and it does smell really good too so I really really like it so that brings us to the end of today's video I'm just gonna fix my hair um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.